So I'm here with Christian, and uh, Christian has been uh, suffering for a number of years here. He used to play a lot of soccer, do a hip hop man man, head butting, and uh, threw himself out one time, and has been dizzy ever since. Christian, um, I'm 25, and I'm a medical record specialist. Gotcha. And so, uh, why are you here, sir? Why did you come to me? Just because of the vertigo and the anxiety. The anxiety, causes. okay. Yeah. And so the vertigo and anxiety came from originally from kind of you think soccer kind of thing because you yeah with kind of idea yeah. Anything else? Any other ideas where it came from? Um, just that I can think of. It's probably just soccer. Maybe like when I would box around with my friends a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get clocked each other sometimes. Yeah. And like ah. <laughs> Got it. And so, um, had a panic attack back then. So, uh -huh. his anxiety gets so out of control that he has these panic attacks sometimes. Not all the time, but it, you know, the yeah. vertigo can really mess with your mind. And uh, I, for some reason, have a ton of vertigo patients right now. It's really, it's really interesting. Okay. So, uh, what else is bothering you, sir? Just my neck. It's hard falling asleep because I can't ever find a like, comfortable position. Gotcha. And some pain in the right shoulder blade. Also yeah. has some pain in his chest. Yeah. Uh, his feet tingle when he's in bad shape. And tell us about the brain fog. So, the brain fog is sometimes really bad. Like I just feel kind of like I'm always how, in How many times a week is it bad? It's like every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every day. Gotcha. Um, it's, it, some weeks it's better than others and some weeks it's just really bad. Gotcha. Now last big question that everybody wants to know, how is this stuff affecting your life? The brain fog and the anxiety and the vertigo? It kind of just makes you feel like uh, kind of like useless in a way because like you, you put aside all your ambitions. Don't worry you are. <laughs> Sorry, that was just oh, too no, easy. I set myself up. Yeah, I set myself up. <laughs> uh, it just makes you, you know, like I'm joking. <laughs> you kind of get stuck in your head, so you have a hard time focusing on like what you really want to do. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Um, people tell me this all the time. It's a little offshoot of this is that mm. uh, people go, I can't afford to come see you. You just have constant money. I just, <laughs> I don't have time for it or whatever, right? And I go, you can't afford not to see me. I guarantee every day that goes by, he feels like shit is a day of lost productivity. Yeah. And not mean. just productivity, guys. It's not about just making money for somebody else or even for yourself. It's also productivity in your life. Mm -hmm. You lose your ability to want to strive for more. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That you're is. Like, you're just like, I'm, I'm, I'm finding me an average. Mm -hmm. And that sucks because inside you know you're not. Yeah. You're a tiger trying to get out. And it's crazy because like some days when I don't feel the brain fog, I'm way more like ambitious or way more yeah, like yeah, active. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you feel like you take a big hit of anxiety and you're like right back down mm -hmm. and <laughs> dude yep. give up on life yeah and so I'm gonna give him his mojo back and that's a big thing in my book um, you know uh, I love changing lives around and it's so much fun to show you guys so I hope you appreciate these stories and he's here it's not a fake story this guy is real how'd you find it by the way YouTube YouTube yep. how I even watch my channel since like 2017. Okay, and why it take you so long to get here? Oh, because you couldn't have any money. That's right. Yeah. And, I was, then, I was and then, what have you done? What have <laughs> you done? Younger, right? Yeah. What have you done for a treatment between that then and now? Uh, nothing much, really. Honestly, nothing. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Just been waiting for me. Yeah. Saving his shekels. Yeah. <laughs> Saving the shekels for Doctor Thayer. Okay. Good. Uh, you guys save your money out there too for me. <laughs> 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 that's kind of funny. <laughs> Any pain or discomfort in your back? You said I think you said a one or something before. Yeah, it's like one. Oh, just tightness, right? Yeah. Got your back like this, sir. It's like five, six. A five or six. That was more. Neck, look at the floor. How about that? One. Any dizziness of any of these things? Right now, yeah. The way I just moved my head kind of made me a little. A little bit. Okay. Look at the ceiling. How about uh, that? That's like five. Six. That's five or six. Now, uh, squat to the ground, please. Thank you. <laughs> He's that. We did this. We did this joke earlier. We did it a little earlier. Okay, now the uh, other one, stand up on your toes, please. Five seconds. Okay, so you see him wobble a little bit. Well, anything about your feet and feet, the feeling of balance, what do you feel like right now? Um, just a little off balance. Yeah, yeah, not to that. He's not falling, he's not yeah. falling. Uh, I think that's it, let's get him treated. So I looked at your x-rays, uh, pretty straightforward, young spine, which is good, not a lot of arthritis, but he's definitely starting some arthritis in the lower part of his neck. He has a bone growth in the back of his head that's bigger than it should be at his age. Um, spine still looks healthy despite the beginning arth uh, starts of arthritis. Um, his whole body leans to the right. Um, a little bit of curves and there, and a little bit of TMJ too. But really, it's the reverse curve in his neck that's causing all the issues. We're gonna hit it right now. Go right for it, right in the middle of it, and get him to feel better. Pretty straightforward here. Four millimeter right imbalance and seven degree curve. Here we have a seven millimeter short right leg constipation. Here we have a high neck reversal early arthritis, bump off the back of the head, lots of stuff going on, posture off here, and bowel gas. Can you have your head this way? 
side. So that is not too heavy, heavy on the table, sir. Good. Mm. Ah, a little tighter than I thought it was going to be. I, feel good, I, I thought I was going to go more than that. Yeah. <laughs> do you self-adjust at all? Yeah, I do uh, a lot. Yeah, we're going to stop that right <laughs> yeah. in the future. Good. Ooh, I think that's that the one. mama one right there. That's the mother load. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of help Christian up here, make it a little easier for him. He just was adjusted, so we are reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. Let's check in and see how he's doing. I feel like a little lightheaded, like yeah. you say in your videos. Yeah. And why, does, why is that important? Because uh, you're, you're realigning yourself. Or realigning. Yeah, I'm changing the way the brain is connected to the body which makes you feel unbalanced at first, mm -hmm. which is actually balancing your body. So your body's accommodating right now. Mm -hmm. The great thing I love about being in balance now or feeling this way is that it's gonna force your body to change even faster. Anything else? Um, no. I feel a little lighter on the neck. Gotcha, good. Now we're sending down the hall to recalibrate. How does this walk feel any different or the same as before? I feel a little lighter. A little lighter already? Gotcha, yeah. going back. You're gonna stand right in the door here. Stop right there, sir. I feel a little more balanced, definitely, and I feel like lighter on my shoulders. Good, perfect. Anything else? Uh, so far, no. Let's take a look. Go ahead and step back just a tad, and then bend over touch those, please. That was a one. Yeah, same. Same one? You see, you went a tiny bit further, though? Yeah, I did go a little bit. Go, sorry. That was a five or six a minute ago. That's less. That's probably like three. Gotcha. Two. Arms down, look at the floor, please. That's, uh, it feels a lot freer. I mean, it, it didn't hurt before, but it does feel it a lot feels like, whew, light, yeah. lighter. And what about, you were a tiny bit dizzy when you did that last time too. I don't know if yeah. that's a No, I, I didn't feel anything. Gotcha, okay. Is it ceiling? It feels a lot better, <laughs> actually. Cool, right? Yeah. Yeah, structure leads function. So by changing the structure, your function is gonna improve or not improve, depending on how your function is, so your uh, structures. So ready to feel a little bit squat? I didn't open up my legs wide enough, but. If it feels try again, try again. Yeah, you're still off balance a little bit, but that, that what did that feel like? Feel different? Uh, don't I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it feels uh, a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little, little tiny more off. solid, right? Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. The problem with you is that you still have your bad habit of how you squat. You squat like shit, <laughs> yeah, and so you just don't know how to squat. <laughs> but I wasn't going to change that yet. Yeah. But I wanted to just get a true representation before and after. Okay. So it's a tiny difference. Now let's stand up on your toes, please. This one you should feel pretty much. Um, by the way. Yeah, I do feel a little more balanced actually. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite word in here, guys. That's actually interesting. The word actually. <laughs> you know why the favorite, my favorite word? Because this person didn't really, really believe that I was going to help him. But I <laughs> actually did. <laughs> That's not true. I did believe No, I know, but no, no, no. Anybody who says actually means that they had a doubt in their mind. And they can't it made me slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I've heard this over the years. My favorite word actually, because when they say that, it's like, oh. Wow. <laughs> cool. Anything else you want to share, sir? No. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Good. First day. It's been a lot of years coming, and so this guy's uh, on his way to get a lot better. Uh, we're going to keep recording as much as we can. Say goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. I was feeling my chest because it does feel like. like I thought you were going to say it feels bigger. No, it feels hot a little. Like just a little more free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's going to be different, so we'll get us uh, we'll get a steak on it later. Okay. First day, I felt really relaxed. My neck felt. There was a lot of like tension that got released on my shoulders, my neck. Mm -hmm. I was able to sleep better. Uh, felt really relaxed. Yeah. And then uh, what about this dizziness thing? It wasn't there the first day. First, first day. What about the second day? Second day, slightly. Uh, definitely better, but there was still some dizziness. Yeah. And so the reason I'm pointing this out and it makes I'm making it sound so bad is because when I was reading, I'm like, oh shit, something's wrong. Mm -hmm. This guy's all messed up. I mean, every single entry he was dizzy, yeah. and he had to remind me at the end. He goes. Doc, this is better than it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the self-adjusting. So I haven't been self-adjusting as much. Because I told you not to or because of what? Uh, one, yes. Yeah, one, a yeah, a little bit because you told me to, but I just don't really feel the need to. And if I do feel the need to, I actually can't. Like I try to and it feels like my neck has more. Yeah. Even though I tell him not to, he still tries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I told him in one of his notes, I go, you sound, you sound like one of those terrible kids. You sound like a kid like, no, dad. <laughs> and he smiles too. He's like, ha, 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 no, dad. <laughs> Good.
Has that sensation changed at all? Yeah, feels a lot like smoother, uh, to me at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of load up on this thing right here, right? There, see? <laughs> I was going to say, I could feel it about to go. That's the result of self-adjusting, guys. I say this in a lot of my videos, is that when somebody pops like that with my, without me even touching them, that shows you how much laxity they have in the joint and the ligaments that are associated with that. So that's what we don't want to have because that makes it harder to stabilize in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can really feel it. Yeah. How's it going? That was good too, huh? Yeah. Definitely smoother than the other days though, you're right. Yeah. Definitely smoother. So he's been icing for me, so hopefully the icing is bringing down the inflammation so it's not quite as sensitive. He's relaxed more, I think he trusts me a little bit more, and so uh, we're doing good. <laughs>